Hi guys! So, yeah, I thought I'd just talk about video games today, basically. So, uh, yes, if you are a big PC gamer, then you will know by now that Total War Warhammer 3 has been announced. They've released a big teaser trailer and a few days ago, and it was really good. Really, really good. And, yeah, it basically, basically confirms what we know about the, the, third, the third and final Total Warhammer game. It's going to be all about um, the war against chaos. You know, the chaos gods, the chaos demons, and the, the humans going up against them in the uh, in the east part of the Warhammer world. That's what uh, Warhammer 3 is going to be all about. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Total War games. I've played Medieval 2 Total War, played Kingdoms when I was a kid, growing up, loved them. Um, I haven't played any of the previous Warhammer games, just before you say. I haven't played Warhammer 1 or 2, because uh, in order to play the Warhammer games, you need a very, very powerful gaming PC which are, are quite expensive, so I haven't got one yet, but I definitely will be getting one for the release of Total War Warhammer 3 because it looks really good. But I've watched so many Let's Plays from the first two Warhammer games. I'm a big fan. I've, I've seen so many Let's Plays with Lionheart, Legend of Total War, Surreal Beliefs, you know, with the Lizard Men, you know, Tomb Kings, Skaven, High Elves, the, the, the Empire, the humans, you know, Dwarves. And the green skins, the vampires, there's so many different factions in, all th in both the first two games. And in this game, it looks like it's going to be just the same. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're going to do here. So if you've seen the trailer, so it will be the third and final game. The game was uh, formally announced on the 3rd, the 3rd of February. It's going to come out later, much later on this year, probably to say springtime. So I think in a, definitely in five, six months time at least. Um, so the game will be playable as a standalone title and feature its own self-contained main campaign. So this campaign map will be roughly twice the size of the Eye of the Vortex from the from Warhammer 2. Wow. Um, so those who own Warhammer 1 and 2 and Warhammer will be able to play a combined mega campaign map. Um, um, currently called a, a very big campaign, that's what it's called, because if you know you played Warhammer 1 and 2, you know the campaign where all the map, the, both maps are combined, it was huge, so, uh, from what, so you can play with both races in a huge map, they're going to do it here, so you, the entire Warhammer world will be one massive map in this, oh my god, it's going to be huge, so many factions, so many races, but the factions that uh, that we know are coming out right now, so there are two, These, these this is at launch, there will be two, Human factions, uh, Kislev, who are a race in Warhammer 1, but you can't play as them, but in, in Warhammer in 3, you can be able to play as them. Yeah, Kislev and Cathay, Grand Cathay. Um, and uh, Cathay is one I'm looking very much looking to, because I think, I believe in the Warhammer world, they're the biggest human race, the biggest human empire, the biggest human faction. They're huge. They've got a great, great, grand secluded empire in the Far East. Um, but they will be playable in this game. I think they're like based off medieval China. So for, for anyone who played like the medieval, the Total War Shogun games, they'll be very similar to that. So yeah, I've, 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 I wonder, I really want to play as Grand Cathay going up against um, going up against the, the Chaos Gods. That'd be fantastic. So in Kiss Level, we'll know them. And the and the other four factions will be the four Chaos factions who represent each of the four Chaos Gods. So they'll be Corn, Nurgle, Slanesh, and T Tzinch, Tzinch, yeah. Uh, so they represent all the four different Chaos Gods. I think they're like Chaos Demons, those four. You know, like Rage, Fury, um, Possession, like, like Greed, Plague and all that. So they'll be the four big bad guys. Because that, that's what Chaos are. Chaos are the big bad guys of the Warhammer world. That's what they are. They're the big evil bad guys. You know, they, they were present in all, all the games. You know, even though there are evil factions like Skaven, Dark Elves... Um, Vampire Coast, the Vampire Counts, uh, Greenskins, I say Greenskins, yeah. They're all like the evil factions, basically, but the, the big, the big bad guys will always be Chaos. You know, in Warhammer 1, the Chaos Invasion, you know, with, um, what's his name? Archeon. Will Archeon be in this game? Because he's like a big Chaos Lord, isn't he? Um, yeah, they were present in that game. Um, Warhammer 2, you know, the Vortex campaign, that was all about chaos you know the, the eye of the vortex and the winds of chaos and the, the arms of chaos come after you when you do the rituals and here we are again this is the big one now i don't think it's going to be about the end times where basically all the races went to war against chaos and i believe they lost so no i don't think it's going to be like that but it's going to be really interesting so how it's going to differentiate you know the four chaos factions and the two human factions going head to head 
it's going to be really interesting. I'm probably going to play as the human, the human factions first because I think playing as playing as the good, the good guys is is more fun at first. Then I might do a, a chaos faction. Um, yes, and of course there the so there's six confirmed races factions starting, but we know that we know there's going to be so many more added to the game. Uh, we know uh, chaos dwarves are going to be probably a DLC race. Maybe a post launch. They're like, they're like they're like evil, the evil version of the dwarves. I think it'd be cool. Uh, ogre kingdoms. I think they're going to be. I don't really want to play as them. The ogres, you know, in the mountains. They're going to be a DLC race. Can't wait to see see what they do. Um, I know there'll be. There's going to be at least nine legendary lords. I reckon. Uh, I reckon there'll be there'll be four. Obviously, the four chaos gods or the four chaos greater demons. That's what they are for Corn, Nurgle, Slash, and Tzinch. And I reckon they'll be. Five spread across Kislev and Grand, and Grand Cafe. So yeah, other factions that might come in. Um, I reckon the Beastmen will be in this game. Obviously, Skaven, because they're uh, vampire counts. They may be scattered around the map. Cause the map's going to be huge. They're saying the map's like gigantic, and I just can't wait. Now I, I'm definitely going to be getting a gaming PC for when this comes out. So yeah, this will be my first Warhammer game. But I will. I've watched so many Let's Plays with the first two, and I can't wait to just combine all the maps to get all three maps together. It's going to be huge. I can't wait. Um, so yeah, guys. So, so I wonder what the story is going to be. Like, I assume as the human factions, Grand Cathay and Kislev, is going to be fighting back and pushing chaos back, fighting back against the, the great war against chaos for for glory, for honor. Um, and the four chaos factions are just going to be basically destruct, go and destroy everything, bring chaos to the world <laughs> for our gods. So yeah, the four chaos factions are just going to be wrecking everything basically. Um, and I hope they get a big buff. I know a lot of people said it, Chaos and Warhammer One because you could play as the, you could play the, as the warriors of Chaos and Warhammer One, but they they weren't very good. Where they, they they were just a, um, a horde faction. You couldn't really do a lot with them, and they were missing a lot of units. So, but yeah, I can't wait. Um, I, I just can't wait for this game. It's gonna be it's gonna be epic, and it's incredible. When you think how many races, how many different factions are in all three games now, you know. So it all in all three games encapsulate. So that Warhammer One was just the middle of the map. Warhammer Two was the was west, and the all you know, and then Warhammer Three is going to be the east. So it all all three games combine the entire world and all the factions. You know, humans, um, dwarves, elves, um, beastmen, um, skaven, greenskins. Um, I'm, I'm missing. I'm, I'm, I know I'm missing loads out. And um, the vampire counts, the tomb kings, the vampire coast. Um, and the, the Warriors of Chaos, the Chaos Factions, Grand Cathay, Kislev, it's Norska, it's, it's just huge, it's really huge, I just can't wait. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be saving up for a, a gaming PC, they, they don't come cheap, but I've been saving up the last few years for, uh, for this reason. <laughs> um, so yeah guys, uh, any of you a big fan of Total War Warhammer games, uh, what are you looking forward to it, uh, comment below, let me know. So thank you for watching guys, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all very soon.